Alright, this should be just a quick add-on to the last video. Um, you know, Nick made three videos. I think I addressed everything in his videos in my video. Um, but he did say in his last one, you know, somebody put it to him, well, why don't you just point out the straw man? And he had a whole big argument that, no, you can't do that because somehow we have to, you know, have our food fight in, in the proper way. And it just doesn't really matter, Nick. Come on. I, I could, I was, you know, when you, after you said goodbye to me, I didn't say goodbye to you, okay? I still argued with your points. I still argue with Matt. I don't give a shit whether he responds or not. It doesn't matter. I'll argue with the crap he says. Um, so you can still put up. You don't have to sit there and run away from that challenge to put up the straw man. But I think we know what we disagree on, so I really don't want to get into a fight with you because I don't think it's necessary. We know where the funky line is. The funky line is, is I perceive the future as a threat to myself okay you don't so you know you're kind of com we're both comfortable with this this and this life ending okay big fucking deal you're less concerned than i am about the fact that consciousness is still going to be grinding the wheels so that's why i have a little more passion about it than you do um and the economy thing like i said i don't know exactly what the angle is there but yeah, I'm 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 really focused on the little rich bastards, and you seem to be f more focused on some sort of intrinsic problem that we can't overcome because we're all greedy, which I'll concede. But there are systems that can prevent us from our greed getting out of control. So to me, it's a completely mitigatable problem. Uh, it just requires us to shoot the idea of the lottery ticket and the I'm going to be a billionaire bullshit. Um, so anyway, that's the extent. Fuck that. All right, we don't need to argue. I don't think. And I think I've addressed your points. So. If there's some other thing that's left on the table that you don't think has been addressed, if there's some other straw man you're worrying about, I'd really like you to put the damn thing up on the table so I know what the fuck to shoot at. Um, you know, and I, I promise, no lizard, no ape. I'll shoot at whatever you put on the table. Um, as for Gray Tex, yeah, fuck him. Bella's video was just idiotic. I mean, this whole idea that, um, you know, there's no, you know, we're all supposed to be Bellas. We're all supposed to be Peter Pan. You know, she's 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 not she's the normal human being. The normal human being is supposed to come out like a Bella. I mean, what a what a crap of crapile of shit. I mean, every animal there's different there's obvious differences between the sexes, and it's not because of how they're conditioned or this that or the other fucking thing. Uh, I mean, obviously we can we can we can pervert the native conditioning. We can certainly turn them into something. Um, but it's just nonsense to say that there isn't um, that that isn't going against the the chemical flow, um, that it isn't um, a, a, a sloppy bastardization of the natural mode. Uh, you know, there are differences, okay? There's a difference between having balls and ovaries. Um, all right, so Citizen Worm um, it has just, you know, I'll, I'll play a little clip of hers. Uh, you know, me and her are just not going to get along. Um, she brings this, she keeps bringing these lame arguments. She still hasn't, she's still got to do her straw man thing. Uh, you know, which I, I'm going to demand some sort of, um, she's going to account for that or I'm going to just be, I'm going to be on her ass constantly. This, this is just bullshit. I'm sick of these trash talking bastards. I'm going to start reading the comments and other people's videos and I'm going to start putting it to you jackasses. I mean, you talk all these damn principles, you don't act on them and, and I'm sick of it. And the hypocrisy around here is disgusting. And I already said this in comments, so I don't have to waste too much time on it, but yeah, Gary, you are one of the most emotional people on YouTube. Just deal with the fact that every single one of your arguments, I shouldn't say that, 95% of your arguments is, is laced and riddled with your emotional hang-ups, so... I mean, fuck you so thoroughly on that bullshit. I mean, if I, I, you know, when I'm arguing in defense of Charles Darwin, uh, was I emotionalizing the theory of natural selection? If I was Albert Einstein trying to defend my, my theory of energy, and I was arguing, look, it's MC squared, look, it's, it's obvious, E equals MC squared, you dumb fuckers, okay? There's a ton of, and some asshole was saying, well, no, I don't like the E because dust gets on the layers of the E. You know, some woman was saying, look, there's, it's all, E's get all dusty, I don't like E's. So, so you put some other letter in the in the theories. I don't like the E. I mean, fuck, fuck that. He'd get frustrated and say, "Come on, you dumbasses!" He'd, he'd fight for his goddamn theory because he thought it was goddamn important that we'd understand fucking reality so we win World War II and do all the rest of this crap. So fuck that bullshit. All right, I want you to take one of my fucking arguments and find where I have emotionalized the motherfucking logic. Don't talk about how I present the fucking argument. Talk about the motherfucking argument, you dumb. I'm all right, let's get to that part of it, all right? 
I, by nature, I call fucking men pricks, I call them assholes, I call them all kinds of fucking names. And I understand when we were in stick cam, you made the point to me. You said, well, there's a bunch of men who beat up their wives every day, okay, because they've decided they're lesser creatures. And so you said, because of that reality, I have to take responsibility for it as a man. And I said, yes, okay, I see your motherfucking point, okay? So don't sit here and march around with some victory flag. Okay? You've suppressed me. You have made me realize that I must suppress myself because of the irresponsibility of other men. Not because of my irresponsibility. Not because I'm committing some unfairness against a woman by calling her some kind of derogatory name that I would call a man just as equally. Okay? You're saying I can't treat women equal in this context. Okay? I agree. Well, I conceded to that damn point only because women are still vulnerable to asshole men. Okay? So I'll concede that point. But don't think you won the logical argument because you didn't. All I'm doing is conceding to the point that I have to take responsibility for other irresponsible males. So get the goddamn argument right, damn it. Really ridiculous for you to say that women are too emotional to make logical arguments. And I got ten minutes, so... No, women are too emotional, generally speaking okay to think rationally it's not about making the argument it's about m building it in their brains okay women have emotionalize okay the reality and their addictions are even stronger than male addictions i mean women well you know a baby can piss in their face and they'll say oh it's okay it's my lovely little baby and i don't do it pisses in a man's face he's going to be saying can we take this thing to nevada and trade it in for a fishing rod i mean they're not going to have any patience for the bullshit all right, and so anyway, the women and men look at the world differently, generally, and that general difference ends up invading philosophical perspective. All right, and I'm, I would say that women are, yes, the rainbow unicorn syndrome is out there. Okay, women, women mother natureize reality. All right, they turn it into fluff and feathers and bullshit. But whatever, I don't want to get into some sexist argument. M women are certainly capable of stepping beyond their subjective crap, just as men are capable of doing the same thing. And there's plenty of asshole men, there's plenty of asshole women. That's not my fucking, that's not the nature of my argument. The nature of my argument is, is that women are going to react to this, this street level fucking fighting. Okay, they're not going to get into the, the fucking male you know, stallion with the horns crashing into each other kind of fight. They're just going to sit on the sideline and they'll find some other way to, you know, sabotage each other. All right? They play the game different than men. And that's my only argument, is the tool of communication is where it gets broken. It's not in necessarily the thinking or the capacity to make an argument. It's in the presentation of the motherfucking argument. Because women, oh, you said the wrong word, they got to run away. Okay? Bullshit on that. All right? Who's got time or patience for that bullshit? So I'll just argue with men. Because it's a waste of my time to have to sit there and pervert my personality into something goddamn else, okay, so I can communicate with women. It's just a waste of my motherfucking time. Maybe if women had more fucking things to say, and, and yes, I, I, I will concede that part of the reason why women aren't saying anything is because I got this huge threat of all these motherfucking trolls and the rest of this crap out there. Um, but this is the environment of m the way I'm going to argue, okay? You want to cut my horns off? Well, okay, you, you made your effort. I'll cut a few of them off. I'll try to be more sensitive and more um, genteel, all right? But the, the fact is, is this is who I am. If somebody else wants to take my ideas and present them to you on a, you know, the, the prettier platter and blah, 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 well, please, somebody do that shit, okay? But I don't got the time or the patience for it. And if I thought there was going to be some reward for it, I would bother. But it really isn't. I just don't see the, the economics of it. But I'm really pissed at this fucking goddamn argument that somehow passionate argument about the goddamn future of the human race is somehow verboten because that's somehow a corruption of the goddamn logic. It isn't a corruption of logic to have passion in fucking attempting to convey it and smash it into other people's heads. That's the job here. The job is just to smash the goddamn truth into motherfuckers' heads. And sometimes you gotta do that with a little bit of motherfucking force. But screw you and this bullshit. You're the one sitting there defending your philosophy with some sort of experience you had. Okay? You're the one playing that game. You're the one allowing your personal experiences to define your motherfucking philosophy. 
enough said okay whatever you people want to make this into something more than it is you want to make it into all you want to have you want to have old conversation about men are from wherever and men, women are from this and you're both saying they're not from either one of those places you want to make all that fuck that go ahead and have that argument i'm not going to be part of it i've said my piece on it okay i have no bigotry against a woman if she can bring the goddamn goods if she can bring the argument without having the damn unicorns and the rainbows and the fairy dust then fine i'm listening Okay, but as soon as that shit becomes the focus of the argument, forget about it. If I hear the word Mother Nature, fuck you, we're done talking.